Yes, brothers and sisters, we are finally back. We are finally made it to another one. Another reaction on this here. Mr. Licks reacts channel. Big up all yourself for definitely tuning into another vibrations. I do appreciate you guys. Konnichiwa, brothers and sisters. Big up all the Japanese individuals and all the other folks who have joined this here reaction, reaction vibrations. I do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I think there's some diasporas down there. That's probably why um, uh, the links are, are to Japan. But big up on yourself as well for definitely tuning into this year vibrations. And of course, all the Mr. Licks family, big up on yourself 150 billion percent times that squared that, brothers and sisters. Big up one time, brothers and sisters, for definitely tuning into another vibrations. And don't forget to do what, brothers and sisters. Hit that like button, brothers and sisters. Smash that like button. I would appreciate that right there. And then hit that like button, man. Of course, getting the algorithm to push this video further and further. Without further ado, brothers and sisters, let us get into the vibrations for today. Right now, brothers and sisters, this is none other than the individual known as Palace Hot. Talking nonsense. I guess that's what Palace Hot means. <laughs> but anyways, brothers and sisters, he made an indication of what JL stated. And of course, JL, in a previous video that I did, was asking, hey, she see a number of folks with gold chain, shiny things. And as a result, she wanted, but he's re making a, 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 a response to that statement right there. Jail wants gold chain. I have one for her. All right, let's see what Uncle have to see right there. Does go, uh, is Jail about to get a gold chain from Palace Hot? Oh, okay. Dominic. Oh, let's go back a little. All right. Sakafet, Jia Dominic. Yes, Mola. It's Palace Hot again. Mm -hmm. This morning I wake up there and I see first thing on my chest, jail, Joseph, jail, hmm. popular media personnel, hmm. begging for gold chain. <laughs> well, I don't think she was begging. She was asking, but I, I guess you can say, yes, kind of, yeah, kind of those song, come to think of it. Hey guys, I want a gold chain. I see people with gold chain, so I want it. Can somebody give me a gold chain? I think that is, you can either say asking, well, if people are begging you for money, they're asking for money. So I guess you can, it can be considered the same thing too, right there. And it's nothing in my brain one time to but, tell the well. Not everything that's shining is real. True. And not everything that's shining is good. True. That's okay. very true indeed. And the message is saying out there for them young children. Ah, interesting. It's not everything I'll come that's back shining that. is real. That's true. And not everything that's shining is good. They say not all that glitters is gold, brothers and sisters. And I do agree with his statement 150% accurate right there. Especially on the basis of not knowing if these things are actually real. For the individuals who actually have the real ones, what did these individuals do to obtain such things? Was it involving some illegal activities or, 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 or some sort? Or did they work their 9 to 5 and save up all their money so they can buy a gold chain to shine on the neck? Brothers and sisters, who knows what the case is right there when it comes down to certain situations. But be mindful. I remember growing up and say, be careful what people have. You don't know what people do to get their stuff. Be careful or you just want to see things and all you want it to the point where people are even going to volley. People things, brothers and sisters, be careful. Brothers and sisters. Okay. Mm. And the message is saying only for them young children is bad. That's true. When you ask and you and you, and you talk about big gold chain hmm. and them young children hearing you they will want gold chain too begging for big gold chain a, a hard back citizen like you shining things shining things yep. diamonds shining things one of the things i noticed in librarian sisters a lot of women like shiny stuff <laughs> they just like shiny things once it's shiny they like it <laughs> I know some of my partners them when they go in out they always have their their diamond chains this is why I even, well that's not why i got uh, one of them give me anyways um so they go off with their diamond chains brothers and sisters and they bling it and their things and what have you brothers and sisters and they go out there and you know girls are very they are they are they are they are star struck by these things by shiny things you know they say they start blinking so if they could get this star, they would go for the stars. Not everybody, you know, brothers and sisters. But it seems like a majority of these women out there like shiny things. What them young children going to do? They will want shiny things too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same gold chain you're talking about, the that's big true. gold chain. That's, that's very true too. So, so, I mean, you are you are somebody who's out there. And I agree. The, the, the question here is, if you want something, go out and work hard for it. And, and, and so forth, brothers and sisters. But keep in mind, brothers and sisters, uh, um... When it comes down to this, this knowings, a lot of people are known. I can think of some of the, the power individuals out there who are known. Yeah, they have fame, brothers and sisters, but fame doesn't bring money to you. <laughs> so sometimes you have to go and work hard. 
Work hard for what you want, brothers and sisters. Work very, very hard for what you want, brothers and sisters. Let me show you something, Jill. Mm. It's not this size that matter. That's true. Okay, watch this. You see that there? But that's a that's a big size. Really. That's a big size thing. Eh? That probably bigger than that. Eh? You see it, my palace out on it. Okay. You see, of the back and front is a design. No, brothers and sisters, as he's showing that there, the thought came to mind. There's also the solid gold and there's the hollow gold. Hollow gold is much cheaper than the solid gold, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, I remember a particular person I knew had this soft thing, man. So I said, that is gold. It's like, yeah, that's real gold, bro. And then he showed me this stuff, and yeah, it did cost a, 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 a big... I myself wondered, my brother, they probably stiff you a bit, but it's actually... When that's the time I started learning about um, um, hollow gold and, and, and solid gold and this kind of things, the like Cuban link and all this kind of something there. Um, when it comes down to the gold chains and things, brothers and sisters. So you have to keep in mind, it's not you people, but I might be big, but it light. <laughs> it might cost a pretty penny too. It might be fake too. Some of them is foil paper, they spray gold on it, brothers. <laughs> that is something else we for it to be attracted to shiny things and the thing that it's shining that you're attracted to is fake i know a number of individuals who had their chains in rose who they were fake i i i know a number of them were fake but anyways some of them were real you know don't get me wrong but a number of them were fake so when you see a set of people passing you go chain by check hey why dominica didn't well man no no brothers and sisters they either get the chain from overseas do whatever hustle or whatever they did for them to be able to get them they probably work a nine to five for i know they do <laughs> let me leave that alone anyways continue mr palace or mr palace or overseas so he, he getting opportunities that dominica don't have to get these things okay no it's not it's not it's separate there yeah, check it out you see it's thick gel but it looking it's like this though. size that, that must be a, a hollow gold that must be hollow gold it's a design this you see that there you see it my palace out on it okay you see it back and front is a design okay no it's not it's not i was looking to hear the sound it's separate there yeah? check it out you see it's thick gel it's not this size that much that's my that's bracelet solid gold. gel okay gel you see that chain there yeah? that is for you I want to give that to you. I don't know if too small for you, but I want to give it to you. Wait a while. A while ago, you telling jail that she should. That is not a good thing for her to be asking or begging for gold chain and this kind of things. Eh? Personally, I think you should work hard for your stuff. If you want it, go out and get it. If you're working hard and you can't get it, stem it out, brothers and sisters. But I know the great book says, ask and you shall receive. True. But on the basis of what you're saying, what she did was not good. But then you are supplying the very thing that you said that she did was not good. you supplying it for her. In other words, I tell you, brothers and sisters, do not go out there and say you're going to see if you can get can. Somebody say, boy, let me go out and ask. I got to ask for car, man. And then you're saying, what you're doing is not good. You are just going out and beg people for car. That doesn't look good for you. When the other people see you just want things, materialism. You want it, you want it, you want it. So you go not in and ask and have to do all kinds of... The one thing is asking. Another thing is doing things that you know you shouldn't do for you to get certain things. That, that, that you, have no, you have not worked for at all. But you are pretty much saying the same thing. Contrary to what you're saying in the beginning. Which is interesting to me. Because you are telling her that she shouldn't be begging for stuff. Yet still you are supplying what she begged for. How does that make sense? So if on the other hand that you're saying that jail begging for, for gold and this kind of things there, you say she, she, you know, whatever, and it's not good for the youth to see you as a person in the public begging for, for things and whatnot. But then you also is known in the public coming to say, hey, okay, I'll give you this. Look, I'll give you this. You're going to give her a gold chain. So what does that say to the people? That simply means that people should just do afraid and ask. Well, that is a good idea. Ask and you shall receive. So I guess that's what J um, Jill was doing because you supplying her, she asked, and you're about to give her a chain that you spent a shame on you on. <laughs> but I want to jump to another thing. Jill is not this size that matter, Jill. The tin, copper, brass, silver, and gold put together can give you a big gold chain. But original gangster gold chain is that. I mean... 
So, so on top of what you just said, that it is not a good example, you're going to talk about giving at the original gangster chains? Really? So you just completely contradict what you say in the beginning? Now you're talking about getting gangster chains. So what can tell the little youths them? Huh? Beg for stuff. And if you beg, you know, you get something. That's what you're telling them. So, I mean, where does it... Where does it lie? Either you 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 trying to give the youths a bad example by 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 pointing and saying jail, give a bad example, asking for thing, she begged for gold chain and whatnot, and you supplying the gold chain to her that she begged for, that says to the youth that they should also beg, and they might receive. Because you're going to supply the very thing that you say that you say that the girl should not should not be doing as a bad example for the youth. So what are you telling them? People should just... And then again, some people will beg and do get, and they will go the extra mile, which is interesting. That is not a good thing as well. Brothers and sisters, come on, man. I don't know if it could be a little longer, but check this out. You see... And it's interesting that you're pointing at your chains and stuff. You put on your chains. Normally, I don't think he, he wears chains when he... Does he wear chains before, brothers and sisters? You guys always know I always have my, my chains and stuff on my neck. You check? No... Does he always wear chains or he just put on chains to show he has his chains and he has his gold and stuff too? Is that a bragging thing right there? So what does that say? <laughs> you can always look at things from a different point of view, you know. I think personally you can take it, hey, seek and you shall find. The great book says ask and you shall receive. JL ask and she receive. You point to another and say she begging. And, 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 and look, you, you, you going to supply the very thing that she was begging and saying that that is a bad thing. So yourself, you do, you're a bad example too because you're providing what the, 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 the person begging for. Either that or you decide, hey, I want to come and show off my own too by using another metric to bring forth, hey, look, I have gold chain too. And you will be the sucker then to decide, hey, let me go and get, you probably spend what? That gold chain probably is like about, I don't know, eight, nine thousand US dollars. Eight nine thousand US dollars, give or take. If it's solid gold, eh? If it's solid, no, eight nine thousand dollars, no. My bracelet was one nine. So that yeah, that's probably like probably four five, four five k um four five k US for the gold chains, right? So if you have that there. And you have two of them there, and you say you're going to give her one. That means you're just going to, you know, well, then again. I think I think that is simple like behavior, yes, brothers and sisters. I, I think so. I think, well, maybe maybe you want her close friends, maybe all these close friends, and you said, oh, she asked for it. Let me just, uh, hopefully, hopefully that is the case. Because you can't tell me that you don't need a girl from Adam, you don't need a woman, and you're just going to set her a chain like that. <laughs> that matching that, that and that is a set. No, check this out. Back and front there. Eh? I think he just wanted to show his chains. <laughs> That's what I think. I think he just wanted to show his chains. I don't think he normally wears chains, but since I never, I have previous videos I've reacted to, I don't think he, he wore chains, or maybe the chain was under it like that. And the quality of gold in that can buy four of the big ones you see, JL. You understand me? So that is solid. Maybe the big ones are, are, are um, hollow. That can buy four, guaranteed. I can tell you, a gift to myself, Pali sort. So don't make young children here, you're asking and begging for gold chain on Facebook, joke or not. But you, you giving her a gold chain, my brother. You giving to her and telling her, no, make people, so she should have messaged you privately. Uh, I, that, that, that is simple, like, that, that is simple like behaviors. Hopefully she's a close friend or something, my God. You don't know, see somebody talk about gold chain on social media. You don't need the person from Adam. I don't know if they know each other. Eh? But if you don't know the person from Adam and you decide to send four, five, six, seven, eight thousand US dollars gold chain for the person, ah man, joke you making. Because them joke does resonate very, very far. You understand me? And you enabling it. You are enabling the very thing you're telling her she shouldn't do. Boy, <laughs> what? <laughs> Just a message to you, jail. That chain is for you. And I'm going to put a pendant in it for you. <laughs> so, on 
brothers, maybe it's his cousin. Maybe it's his cousin. And he's checking, boy, I don't give that girl no gift ever in her life. Let me just give her. Maybe it's his cousin. Maybe it's his cousin, man. Or his close friends. Brothers and sisters, I wouldn't even buy four, five thousand dollars for close friends. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a ticket, a five six hundred uh, ticket. Uh, well, let's go somewhere. You know that kind of idea. I would have done that before. But five six, you crazy, God, sir. No sir, I would have melt down the gold chain, put that and send put that in the bank. What you mean? <laughs> to work gold chain, God, sir. Hey, <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'll be bragging. Let me leave that alone. And I will give the matching bracelet for it. Okay. Pali sort. So don't make young children hear you asking and begging for gold chain on Facebook, joke or not. Because them joke does resonate very, very far. Yeah, and you giving her what she asked for. You understand me? Maybe it's a joke that day. Maybe it's a joke. Maybe he's joking. But I want if I want to see jail wearing that chain, whatever chain that you want. And brace, boy, you mad. Just a message to you, jail. That chain is for you, and I'm gonna put a pendant in it for you. And I will give you the matching bracelet for it, too, okay? Well, what is wrong with all you fellas? What is wrong with all you fellas, boy? <laughs> boy. Oh my god. That is yours, and I will give you the ring. You what? So she getting a chain, she getting a pendant, she getting a bracelet, and a ring? She only asked for a big chain, which I you do a, you know, in accordance, you know, you know. But but you giving her a bracelet, a pendant, and a ring in addition, bro. Hey, don't get me wrong, hey, brothers and sisters. If you want to give people gifts, hey, that's fine. But I think that is very crazy. The bracelet, the, from my understanding of gold, that gold chain. That is that should be well over about ten at least ten thousand US dollars, you know that they that you're just going to give somebody you don't know because they ask for something on social media and you see the person begging and it's a bad example for the youth to be begging for stuff. My reasoning, brothers and sisters, work hard for what you want. And jail, I would not advise you taking any chain from any man, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, I would not advise you. Next thing they say, hey, oh, 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 I give you I give you about ten thousand dollars worth of gold we? What you have for me now? I'm not saying he's like this, but it's an example, brothers and sisters, of when somebody wants to give you things. I grew up with that understanding, you know. Be mindful of giving people things or taking things from people, especially when you have done nothing at all to deserve it. Be careful, brothers and sisters. Next thing, and it's not, I'm, I'm putting them on the side track. Next thing you decide, some girl decided she can't beg. She say partner with gold chain. She can beg the partner for it. And then the, she, she, the partner give her the gold chain. And then later though, he passed the night and say, hey, why you here for me? Why you here for me? Or you coming to give me something for the gold chain? What you give me in exchange for the gold chain? And then she have to be roped in that kind of cycle, especially when she can hand over the gold chain. When the partner decide, you know what? I want my gold chain back. After she have done so much, you know, giving herself to that partner because she get a gold chain. That is not a good good sign at all. So I don't think JL should have asked for a gold chain. I thought it was funny, but you escalated there. You say you can't give a thing. And yourself wrong because you're enabling the very thing that you say is bad to do. And on top of that, you're giving somebody about $10,000 worth of gold. And boy, boy, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But what we cross is, is that for? But hey, people can do what they want, brothers and sisters. You decide to give gifts and all those kind of things there. That's you. But I think that it seems like behaviors, man. What? But jail, please be mindful. Next thing, man, one favors in return exchange for gold. Be, boy. All right, brothers and sisters. Be mindful of these things. I'm not saying it's like this. Don't get me wrong, you know. I'm speaking generally, brothers and sisters. Ladies and fellas out there, especially the little boys. Uh, I want a gold chain too. Next thing, the man come. Eh! Gasa! Behave on yourself, eh, please. Stay without if it's not your hard work that give it to you, brothers and sisters. Stay without! I'll pass on it by Jen, my elders. Wisdom. If, it's, if, if you don't work for it, stay without, brothers and sisters. It's not your husband that day. There will be your little girlfriend that day. Boy. But nothing, no, boy. Gasa! Boy, all you fellas do easy boy. Boy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Maybe sorty talking there. 
Maybe he just decide to kick off. Maybe it's just a kick off. He kicks it off. Uh, you want gold chain? Okay, I'll give you a brace. I'll give you the chain. I'll give you a, a the pendant. I'll give you a bracelet, and I'll give you the ring. And then you can buy more. You know, just wasting money, brothers and sisters. For the more brothers and sisters, I think we should be smart enough. Get buy gold, and start in the bank. So in the currency, if the currency ever fall, and it most likely will, if you paying attention to the world. Because the US, the Eastern Caribbean dollar is backed by the US dollar. Okay, brothers and sisters? All right. So just keep that in mind. Um, so buy gold, brothers and sisters. If you can melt it into a brick, melt it into a brick and save it in the bank. <laughs> save it somewhere safe or save it somewhere in the Middle East, <laughs> in Dubai or somewhere. Oh my God, brothers and sisters. <sighs> Anyways, that's just my thoughts on this. What are your thoughts, guys? Do you think he's kicks enough? Do you think he's gonna give it to her? Do you think Joel was actually serious? Because I saw her even taking pictures with some of the guys. Maybe it's just a free up. She was freeing up, freaking up. Maybe both both of them are freaking out. But it's very obvious that was a, there were a lot of gold chains passing in Rosu um 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 for Monday and Tuesday, no doubt about it. You will think it's Dubai, we come out. You will think it's UAE, we in <laughs> you know. Yes, man, brothers and sisters, but a lot of people don't know. A lot of the chains that were passing were fake. Okay, just keep that in mind right there. A lot of them were real, you know. Some of them were real, but a lot of them were fake. <laughs> all right, that is all I see. <laughs> I know the ins and outs, you know. <laughs> Woo! All right, then, brothers and sisters. It's about Mr. Licks. On this, uh, Mr. Licks reacts. What are your thoughts, brothers and sisters? What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. These are just my thoughts, my opinions on subject matters. But I think you have to be authentic in what you're saying. Hey, you begging and stuff. I think you should be authentic in the same thing. Don't enable what the person is begging for. But then again, he's probably just kicksy kicksy now. But of course, his name is Palit Sot, so he's probably just talking nonsense, you know, just for the kicks of it. What are your thoughts, brothers and sisters? The boy Mr. Licks. Once again, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Remember, guys, be real. Sally the king and be positive.